Studio on here. So today I'm going to do a stuffy collection video. Yay! Okay, so I don't refer to my stuffies as stuffies. I refer to them just as friends. And my little mantra in life is you can never have too many friends. When I go over to Master's house, I take a group of friends which mean the most to me. And they're the prime friend melons, as we like to call them. This is Morris. He is a rain bear. He is extremely special to me. I've had him uh, since... I was born in September and I got him that year's Christmas. So he's 20 years old. He's as old as me and I love him dearly. I've literally never slept a night without him. He is my bestest best friend in the entire world. He listens to all of my problems. And because I sleep, I use him like as a, as a pillow, so he's, he's got a really nice stomach. Like, look how flat and toned he is. But yeah, he's, he's around a bit bored. You can see me in the back, because I sleep on him all the time, but... And then this is Blanky. He's a blanket, obviously. Um, he was a present from my grandma, who is now not with us anymore. She gave him to me when I was born. So he's slightly older than Morris, but he's well loved. He's got a he's got a couple holes, but we've mended most of them. He's got little little soft tasseling bits. One of the other prime friend melons, the one that Master really likes, is this guy. He's called Bean, not because he's a bean shape, because I named him after one of the characters in an anime that I watch, Attack on Titan. Sony and Bean, if anyone watches that and knows who they are. Bean, this is Bean. He's a little superhero, Bean. He was part of the Woolworths healthy eating campaign. Woolworths is one of our um, shopping like supermarkets over here and he was just part of their healthy eating campaign. And I saw him and I just couldn't resist, I had to buy him. And Master really likes Bean. So he goes, Bean! Like that. <laughs> so this is Bean. And then the last one is my unicorn pillow pet. Master got me this for my birthday either last year or the year before. I can't quite remember. But I love, I love unicorns so much. I keep him in pillow mode like this so that he can hug me like this. To go with unicorn that uh, Sarah gave me, my bestest best friend in the whole entire world for my birthday got me this. It's a little unicorn. Oh, it's so cute. I call him Gerald. He's Gerald the baby unicorn. When I was a kid, I had my Morris, so little Morris. So my parents also got me a big Morris. Okay, so for my birthday a couple years ago, one of my very close family friends got me this guy. His name is Mr. Smellsmeister. And he's just, I don't know where he's from, but he's really fun looking. And he's got a little, it's like a toucan. Yeah, he's got a massive nose and four nostrils. And, you know. Another one of my friends I have is Blue Bunny, or Blue Bun for short. With a big fluffy blue rabbit. <laughs> and then this is Rosie, teddy bear from Valentine's Day. Don't know where it came from, but super soft. Got little flower rose details on her heart. So, my boyfriend's parents they went on a cruise to New Zealand last year and they brought me back the most amazing little gift. So a backpack. Oh, it's super cute and it's really soft. Yeah, it's super soft. Why? It's the so I think it's the softest one I own. I call it Lammy. Very original. I know. Continuing with the unicorn theme. <laughs> Can you tell I like unicorns yet? Um, is this guy. This is Cutie Pie. My boyfriend's parents also got me this one um, from what was it, Malaysia. My boyfriend was over there playing for the national hockey team. He's really cool. And they bought me back a sari, really beautiful orange and purple sari, and then this little guy because they know I like unicorns. So a couple of years ago when I was still in school, um, in my, I think it was my year 12 year, the school turned 125. 
one of the oldest schools in Sydney and we had a big massive fair open day sort of thing and it went into the night and had lights and whatever and as part of the 125th anniversary they commissioned this little bear has the school logo on the foot. Her name is Holly and she's one of 125 bears that were made so she's incredibly special. I loved school. I know it's a bit strange to say that you love school but I loved school so Holly has a lot of really special memories from school. Uh, yeah. This is Doggy. This is a little dog. He's from Thailand. My boyfriend when he went on mission to Thailand with church he brought back this little guy for me as a present. And he's super soft. And super cuddly. Last year for my birthday, one of my friends, he got me a pillow pet Olaf. No, it's a little derpy too. He's really cute. He's got little, little cold buttons down in here. <laughs> this is Gus. He's a German Shepherd. Just a little guy. My boyfriend also got this one for me. These two I got from the Easter show. And I won these two in the sideshow alley. Uh, this is Angry Bird and I don't exactly know what he is. He's a mix between like a Mario, a uh, Wario and like a Luigi. So I call him Waluigio. <laughs> I don't know. He's just an Angry Bird. Yeah. Two years ago my family went on a trip over to England, Scotland and France as a my end of school sort of family vacation thing and I got these two guys while I was over there. This one's from England. He's a little policeman officer thing with a big nose and a little moustache. Little hat. He just sort of sits on his like little bean butt. He's really cute. And then this guy is super special. For my birthday that year, my friend gave me 20 pounds to go spend. So I got this guy. His name is Eddie, after King Edward. I bought him at the Edinburgh Castle gift shop. And he plays the bagpipes. He throws little bagpipes there. Yeah, he's got a little Scottish flag on his foot. He's really cute. Two and a half years ago, I went down to Tasmania, which is the bottom most part of Australia, the little island at the bottom. And I played in the indoor hockey nationals. And my parents came and my sister came as well. And my sister and my dad went on a flying fox sort of thing through the treetops at the forest near Cradle Mountain, I believe and they brought me back this little Tasmanian devil. He's in a little flying fox harness so he can zip through the trees as well. I don't know how much international news was put on the death of Philip Hughes. He was part of the Australian cricket team and he was playing in a um, shield match and he got hit on the back of the head by a cricket ball and later died and it was absolutely tragic and really really sad and I really love cricket. I go and watch it with Sir and his family all the time. So on the first match after the death, the test match against India, I went with my boyfriend and his family and I bought this little guy. He's got a little baggy green which is the Australian cricketing hat. He's got a little bat here. And I called him Philip after Philip Hughes. And he makes the most obnoxious quacking sound. I also have this one-up mushroom from the Mario game. It's bigger than my head. And I call him Shroomy. A little mushroom. I'm also an avid gamer. I love playing games with Sir. It's one of my favourite things to do. I'm very much a Blizzard girl at heart. I used to play WoW quite a bit with him and at the moment I'm really into Heroes of the Storm. I'm streaming that on my Twitch currently. He and I also play StarCraft and there are three races in StarCraft. There's the human race which is the Terrans, the mysterious alien race which is called the Protoss and then the evil alien race which is called the Zerg and they're very insectoid and the Protoss are very like technologically advanced and whatever. So I play as the Zerg and the idea is playing as the Zerg is to create as many things as possible and swarm over your enemy. And so one of the little basic units in that is a Zergling and so Master bought me a Zergling for Christmas year before last year because it's now 2016. It was in 20, 
14. He's a speed zergling. He's had the speed upgrade, so he's got his little speed wings. He's got a happy mouth. A little eight. And actually, the zipper thing, one of the upgrades that you can get for these guys is they can morph into a baneling, which is basically rolling grenade of goo. So when they hit stuff, they explode and do massive area damage. So this guy can turn into a baneling. Ah, shake. as a baneling so much because I don't think it's as cute and also <laughs> one of his legs was sewn on upside down. Yep, it's meant to be like that. But it's like that. So he's a little bit he's a little bit special, but I don't know, he's still cute. I used to prefer him as the Zerg. Oh and if any of you watch llamas with hats, um, his name is Carl. <laughs> Carl Yep, his name is Carl. I love the show Adventure Time, and so I have just a little bit of Adventure Time stuff, including three friends from Adventure Time. The first one I also got at the Easter show last year, which is a giant Jake plushie. He's just a flat pillow type guy. The second one I have is this Lady Rainicorn scarf. She's beautiful. She has a lovely tail and little feet. And here she's her head with a horn. And my last and favorite Adventure Time friend that I have is this little guy. His name is Gunter. He's one of the Ice King's penguins. And this is the bottle smashing one. He doesn't like bottles. <laughs> My friend recently went to America and she bought back this little guy. He's one of the little LGMs from Toy Story and I call him Steven with a PH. So it's Steven. <laughs> okay, so the final two I have to show you guys are actually specifically related to Pet Play, Kitten Play to be precise, and they are from previously Playful Kitten Shop but now it's called Playful Neko Gear. Her links will all be down below. And I got two of them way back when she was just starting. And here they are. This one's a little mushroom. Super cute. And then this is a little black cat. With the little bead eyes and the little love heart nose. And a little tail. The, little be the bell and bow were add-ons, but totally worth it because it's super loud now. And I'm really... I, I play with these a lot when I'm in Kitten Space. Master and I play with these all the time. They're absolutely amazing, amazing quality. Go check out her stuff as well because, wow, she she's really, like, I've not really been that gentle with these and they look as good as when I bought them, so. Good work, gal. You made some great things. I love them so much. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, leave a comment down below telling me what you'd like to see in the future. Leave a like as well if you like these sorts of videos. And also, if you haven't yet subscribed, please. It helps me out so much. And I'd love to meet all of you and talk to you all in the future.